Magandang araw Pilipinas! Welcome to TikTok with Aster Amoyo. Sa araw na ito, mga kaibigan, ay sinanoon po ang espesyal na panauhin ng ating makakapanayam dahil makakasama natin for the very first time ang ex-PBB housemate, young actor, Marco Gallo. Hi everyone! How are you? Okay naman po. Kayo po, tita. Ayun! Okay, simulan muna natin, Marco, kasi like, paano ka napunta sa PBB? Paano ka sumali? Meron kasi yung post sa Facebook, may nakita yung nanay ko regarding PBB. Audition. The, yeah, auditions. Mm -hmm. And then, it was June pa nun eh. And it was, to me, it was really the start of the summer ng after the school. Kasi yung school nagtatapos nung first week of June. Mm -hmm. nung nakita din ng nanay ko. Sabi ko parang, okay, pwede, gawin ko na lang. Pero kasi, in very my first thought kasi, gusto ko gawin yun para hindi na ako mag-aaral on the summer. Oh. Kasi, meron akong baksak na oh, Meron kong summer subjects. class dapat, parang oh, ano. Oh. Oh, oh. And then I was like, maybe I should go so that I can skip that. <laughs> But it was really for a, you know, momentary uh -oh. thing. And wala, parang naging sunod-sunod na siya. After PBB, parang nag-work na din. Pero in other words, sa ano ka, sa Milan, Italy ka, nag-audition. Yes po, Tita. For the, parang sa 7th edition ito ng PBB, right? Opo, I think. I think. Oo, di ba? So, uh, lucky 7 nga ang tawag doon. Yes. Okay, yes. Lucky 7. In Milan, we were 250, Tita, wow. na nag-ano. Nag, Pero ikaw lang ang nakapasok. No, we got, a lot, they went in stages and then uh, madami yung napili. Okay. Tapos, isa kong kaibigan, parang nag-uusap kami na napili din siya. We got to the very finals and we, it was me and this friend of mine that she looked a little bit Korean. Pero mm -hmm. pinay siya. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, dalawa kami nun. So, alam talaga namin na nakapasok kami sa final. And we were really asking each other parang, Hoy, mm -hmm. pag tayo magalit sa isa't isa kung sino man ang makapasok. Ha? Yes, yes. And then, they ended up choosing me and she was really counting on it. Because to me, I never really watched PBB before. Mm -hmm. And she was an avid fan of it and you know it was sad to see that a little bit to see na ako pinili over her because it was her dream to me it was more of a an okay option lang. Oh, okay parang lang ganun. Diba? and uh, wala parang ganun na lang so it was your mom's idea na yes. mag-audition ka yes. anong naging reaction ng father mo? yung tatay ko kasi ayun niya naman na hindi ko ituloy yung school pero I never really asked anything big to my dad kasi and at that time I was really asking him to give me just one year to lose you know Uh, for the school, sabi ko, sige, pagbigyan mo na ako, please. Mm -hmm. Eh, pinagbigyan naman ako. Kaso nga, hindi na ako bumalik kasi nagtrabaho na ako. Okay, high school grad ka ba doon sa, ano, sa Italy? Yes, uh, I was doing college na doon eh. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, nag-first year college ka na doon? I was in my second year na. Second year college ka? Yeah. So, what were you taking up in Milan? Language course. Oh, wow. Uh, linguistic. Wow. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh. Yeah. Pero ayaw may pagpatuloy dito? I wanted to do a language course here, pero I didn't really find anything focused on languages lang mm -hmm. kasi ang ina-offer nila languages but they still have like math and stuff mm -hmm. like that right. complicated math iniiwasan mo yun <laughs> yeah I really have a big big problem kasi sa pagdating sa math o sa uh -oh. mga science mm -hmm. kahit anong pag-aralin ko parang talaga. hindi po mapasok sa utak ko mm -hmm. so parang laging baksak ako dun pero uh -huh. sa iba high grades naman mm -hmm. so ang point nga hindi ka makaka hindi ka makakapasa kapag hindi mo napasa lahat oh, yeah. alright ba still back in Italy you're an only child diba yes po tita. only child paano ka I mean uh, Uh, as a kid, paano ka lumaki? Well, mahirap in the perspective of attention kasi laging gusto mong may kaibigan na kasama mo pero syempre, mag-isa ka lang sa bahay. And then, ang mahirap sa attention kasi lahat ng attention na magulang mo nasa'yo. nasa'yo. So, minsan nakakasakal yun eh. So, gusto mo ng kapatid para hindi lahat nasa'yo, di ba? Pero, at the same way, I'm, you know, I'm lucky enough to have everything that my parents own one day will become. <laughs> I just really wish, always wish that mm -hmm. I had a brother or sister. The reason why, kasi, singulo akong anak, nanay ko kasi nung pinanganak ako, nakoma siya. Oh my so, God. natakot yung, na, yung tatay ko oh. na magka-anak uh, ulit. Pero nung oh. nawala yung takot ni papa, medyo late na. Mm -hmm. Medyo matanda na si mama. Okay. Growing up, kasi sabi, mag-isa ka lang, sabi mo nga, gusto mo, uh, you were longing for a brother or a sister, pero hindi nangyari yun. Yeah. Paano yung mga playmates mo? Paano ka nagkaroon ng mga kaibigan, mga kalaro sa Italy? 
family. I've always been surrounded by good friends. Always had a good community of friends, especially because as soon as I was done with school, I wouldn't be going straight at home. Mm-hmm. Lagi ko kasama yung mga barkada ko. Mm-hmm. So, pumupunta sila sa bahay o ako pumupunta sa kanila. I was probably, I have to say, half of my day, I was always out. I was so, never... So, paano naging normal naman yeah. ang paglaki mo? No problem naman. Okay. I, I think the, the moment that I really felt na wala akong talagang kasama o kapatid, mm-hmm. you know, at those family events of like Christmas mm-hmm. or like Easter, syempre yung friends mo kasama nila, pamilya nila. How about so, your relatives? Diba? Dapat may mga relatives yes, ka. But kasi, father's side. Well, my dad just has one brother and nasa Naples sila. Ah. We're in Milan. Oo, so, malayo. Yeah, malayo. So, mm-hmm. we used to just go see them once a year but not that much. Pero in school, wala kang ibang, let's say, hindi ka uh, player ng any sports uh, no, I activity? No, I was never. Never. Because before, I was mm. fat, Tita. I was really Talaga? big. Talaga? Yeah. How fat were you? Parang hindi ko ma-imagine. No, I was <laughs> okay. really overweight. And um, it was a problem for me because I didn't get to be team of the schools Uh-oh. and stuff like that, be part of the team. Or so, yun yung problema, oo. Oh, oh. Kasi, syempre, I was lacking on the requirements. Uh-oh. And, uh... Kasi matangkad ka eh. Nung kasing mataba ako, sabi ng, kasi at that age, sabi ng doktor kasi sa akin, I was supposed to be, I was really panda mm, at that talaga. time. So, sabi nila, sa, sabi ng doktor sa akin, kung magpapayat ako, bigla akong tatangkad. Ayun. Kasi parang nahuhold siya eh. Ah, okay. So, nung nag-start ako mag-diet, magpapayat, bigla akong tumangkad. How tall are you now? 5'11". Oh, almost 6. Almost. Diba? Wala. Last 6. Okay. 15. You were 15 years old nung mag-join ka sa PBB. Yes. Okay, in 2016. What were the experience like nung naandun ka na sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya? At first, kasi hindi ko parang naisip na sobrang parang official siya. Kasi I really didn't hear about PBB until the actual edition. And when I was inside, then... It started sinking in of, you know, seeing so many cameras everywhere. It gets you overwhelmed. You know, it gets you to that point of, oh my God, this is an actual show. You know, you see cameramen behind the mirrors and you're like, oh nga pala, this is an actual Pag show. Pag nagkamalika, yeah, yeah. So it can be seen oh, yeah, yeah. by everyone. So it was uh, kind of shocking at first because I never really got exposed by cameras. And then, you know, I, I just had really a simple life there. And then, nung dumating ako dito, parang the minute that I got to the airport, I just saw, you know, they had to shoot this, me getting Everything. from the airport, me oh. getting from this. That It was shocking at first, but then eventually I got used to it. Anong mga natutunan mo sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya? Think before you speak. That's one thing that I've learned inside patience. And I think yung pinakamalaki na uh, natutunan ko, it's I didn't really meet different people kasi around the world. And when I got in there, you know, I didn't come to the Philippines. Uh, the last time I went before that, it you was... You a kid. Yeah, I was a kid. Uh, yeah. Nung mga eight years old ako. Mm-hmm. Tapos, I went there and I just saw so many different cultures, different mindset that to me, it was so hard to deal with kasi parang nakakapanibago. At hindi mo sila kilala. Hindi ko sila Uh-oh. kilala. Mm-hmm. I had that language barrier, but it was it wasn't just about the language. I think it was really the mindset that it was different and that's why I I got close to Edward because he was thinking like me at that time. Mm-mm. Pare ka yung foreigner. Yeah, foreigner yeah. daw. Yeah. Foreigner, di ba? Yeah. I I don't I don't think I would have made it without him in there. You you speak good English. Yes. Dati ba, doon pa lang sa Italy, magaling ka na mag-English? No, pasang awa mga grade ko sa English dati. Ah, talaga? I did. It's Oo. because of actually the Philippines. Kasi Oo. it's not just Tagalog ang requirement dito. Mm. Kung hindi talaga sa mga interview, Oo. you need English Oo. and stuff like that. Oo. You know, roles. It was a development, I think, in here of those perspective of the stuff that I needed. Acting languages, body-wise. Yes. You know, when you're still toto, eh, when you're still 16. Yeah, because 15 ka lang, 15, 16. It, it, it was okay oh. if oh. you, you know, if you were just oh. eating whatever you wanted. Oh. When you start getting 18, 19, they, they start telling oh. you, ay, magpa-abs ka na. Ha, bakit naman, <laughs> di ba? Parang oh. medyo nakaka-pressure. But yeah. that's what the show business requires. No? Right. Eh, hindi ka ba na culture shock? Definitely. Oh. I mean, it's like, imagine a, Put, put yourself in my shoes. I was in school. You know, all I was worrying about is who I was going to go out with on a Saturday and a Sunday. That's what my life was. You were looking forward to it every weekend. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, diba? that's what it was for me. And mm-hmm. then just meeting the bosses, mm-hmm. meeting the big people. And you're just like, inside of me, in my head, it was, what do I care? Mm-hmm. Like, to me, it's like if you're the boss or yes. you're a janitor, 
you're the same. Pag-usapan muna natin sa loob ng PBB House kasi maraming nangyari doon. Yeah. You were all together in the same place for how many months? Kasi you yeah. made it to Three, the yeah. top, uh, top four ka, di ba? No, I wasn't top four. I was uh, top seven. A top seven. Okay, but just the same. Ang tagal mo doon sa loob. Yeah, Ilang I was... Almost three months. Almost three months. Okay. While inside, para naging best friend mo si Edward, right? Yes. Siya naging close mo. And then, nag, parang nagka-crush ka or nagka-gusto ka kay Vibor, uh, Vibory. Yeah. Di ba? Yeah, yeah. Oo. Pero, yung nakakatuwa nga kasi like kami, siyempre we were the ones watching from outside. Siyempre, may mga, eh, parang ikaw na develop ko kay Vibory. Tapos may isa namang may gusto sa'yo. Yeah. Sa kisses ito, di ba? Yeah. Finally, when you got out, nung natapos na yung PBB, lumabas na kayo, kayong dalawa ni kisses ang ginawang love team. Right? Yes. yes. Okay. Meron bang resentment sa part mo? What do you mean by resentment? Uh, Siyempre, ang gusto mo yung isang girl. Pero yeah. ipapareha ka sa... I mean, to me, at that time, it mm. was... Um... I mean, I didn't think it was a problem because mm-hmm. I'm used to Hollywood show business. I'm used to Italian show oh, business where like... It's the same? Say, yeah, it's the same. Let's okay. say, magkajowa uh, tayo. Uh, and uh, then, uh, 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 you know, they, the people want this love team. Mm-hmm. Why would it be a problem for us to be together? Do you get what I mean? And that's why yes, I was, yes. okay lang if okay they lang. wanted to me to pair me with that. But then, I realized how like people here take love teams yes, so seriously and yes. they're like, the fans. If you're a love team with that, you oh. can't be with this person. Yes, correct. Yes. And uh, I, uh, well, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. And um, I didn't think it was an issue. But yes. for the other part, it was. So. Iyon ang tinatanong ko, hindi ka ba na-pressure? I didn't got pressured because it wasn't a problem for me. But then, how people were, like, especially fans, they were uh, making such a big deal out of it. I think the pressure was on, not between them, but it was more of not upsetting the fans. Because, imagine, I was 16, I didn't want to, I didn't want people to hate me. Yes. I didn't want to, uh, you know discriminate anyone and um, to me it was really the pressure of how can I make this right how can I make everyone happy but at the end of the day I realized that whatever you try you're not gonna be able to make everyone happy at may sasabihin sila yeah of course diba yeah. mababash ka yeah diba so that was li- like Baptism of fire para sa yo. Yes. So how yes. how were you able to handle it? Not caring. I think the reason why kasi I was getting so affected before of why do people have to say that kind of stuff to me when it's not even my fault, you know? It's like what am I supposed to what do you want me to do? Since you guys have a lot to say, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. it's uh I just switched that off emotions and not care. And that's what they tell you since day one. Don't listen. And it's hard to do because if you're not used to it, kasi parang paano hindi ka makikinig na babasa mo, na realinig mo, and it's uh, na babalita sa TV, yeah, sa radio, so, yes, yeah, and, so, and, you know, social you media, exactly. Uh-huh. And, and then you know, at that time, I was thinking, how am I supposed not to feel if they're talking about me, and you're just you don't want them to talk bad about you. Even if it wasn't my fault, to me, I just had to accept it and let them think whatever they had to think. Was that the reason why you quit temporarily? When one, that, it um, was one of the reasons mm-hmm. because I wasn't happy with how show business worked. I didn't think it was like that, but it was actually because I had to go back because my parents were splitting. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I for mm-hmm. law I had to go back at the time because because okay. kailangan na mga requirements papers, so kinailang ko muna mag out muna at that time. Pero ang naging parang I'm sorry ha, naging press release dito sa Philippines. You gave up your uh, your showbiz career in the Philippines merely because uh, gusto mong bumalik ng uh, Italy para ipagpatuloy yung pag-aaral mo. Yeah. yeah. It was also it was all mm-hmm. of these reasons, but then the main one was because of the family, mm-hmm. but at that time it was still fresh and I, I, I wasn't comfortable with Telling siempre the masa my yes, own yes. stuff about my right, own family right. and I was like your private life. Yeah, and oh. it, it was still happening because to me it was really fresh mm-hmm. and I didn't I really didn't want anyone and you're to so know. You're so young, only yeah. child. Uh-oh. Yeah. So how did you take it? I think I needed to go to Italy because it was more of a break for me from all of that stress. When I went back, the man, everything it was too simple. May kulang kasi. So sabi ko, hindi ako magiging okay kung pinanatili ko siya ng what if. So kinailangan ko talaga bumalik para malaman yun. And stuff turned out the way that I thought it would have turned out. So kailan naghiwalay ang parents mo? I, I'm not sure. I think that, the year that I came back, that yes. was the year. Yeah. So I don't know, it was uh, 2018, yes, I mm-hmm. think so. 
And then you were uh, you left for about six months. Six months. Six months. Wala. Yeah. Yes, six months. Wala. What made you decide to to come back? There was this one job that they were uh, like a pageant, a Milan Philippine pageant, and then they were um, getting me for 300 years, 15k, and that was nothing compared oh, to what yeah. I was making here. But right. that time, uh -oh. it was good money because yes. it would have helped me with whatever bills. Yes, and I took it. And when I was on the stage, I was singing. And then that's when I realized, no, I need to do this again. Even if I'm not a singer. Yes, yes. Even yes. if I'm not like, uh, you know, enjoying as the main. Singer, yes. I saw the people that they were s still happy to see me. And I was like, I'm out of show business. Why are they still cheering for me? And in that moment, I felt like I needed to go back. Are you referring it. to Filipino, pop, uh, Filipino fans in yeah, Italy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it was um, kind of a turning point. And then after that, I don't know how the ABS-CBN Milan part, the uh, interviewers of ABS-CBN, they came to the to the event, mm -hmm. and then you know I was again host, you know, interviewed by ABS-CBN, and I was like, oh. But you don't know Yeah, it, it felt like <laughs> yes. Wow, I felt like mm -hmm. uh, whoa, ABS is still on to me, and mm -hmm. I was I was surprised, and I was like, okay, sige, isa pa, gawin natin ulit, and then I came. So how are you now with your dad? With my dad? Yes. Uh, I'm just not talking. I don't hate him. I'm uh, I'm just normal, you know, civil. What does he do back in Italy? He's working now. Mm -hmm. He's working at a, mm -hmm. like he used to be before. Yeah, he drives his own uh, car, right? Yeah, he's, he's a, a taxi driver. Taxi driver, yeah. which he owns. Uh, which yeah. He owns. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how about your mom? Kumusta mami mo? She's in Italy also, looking for a job now. But uh, they're not together anymore, right? No, they're not. Not they're anymore. Not. Hopefully. Okay, more than one year na tayo under pandemic. Yes. So, paano ka naka-survive? You know, I was living month to month. It wasn't that hard because I had the people that I needed beside me. Dito na, di ba? Dito na sa Pilipinas. Yeah, so. it was, you know, I was surrounded by the right people. Mentally, I think it was the biggest struggle for me because, you know, pumunta ako dito sa Pilipinas para mag-work, tapos biglang nawala ang ng work. So, mentally, that was the issue of me thinking, should I go back now? Should I go uh, pursue something else? But then, work started coming back. And it's like, it's like this on and off lagi na parang, do I belong here? Do I not? Do I belong here? Do I not? And every time I start working again, and I'm like, yes, I do belong here. But then, Every time I don't have work, it's like that question mark of tama ba yung choice ko na pumunta dito? Because that's how showbiz works. It's right, like right, right. you might have a year that you have nothing and then three years that you have a lot of work. It's always like that. It's a lot, nothing, a lot, nothing. How do you see yourself? I mean, maybe five years from now. I'll still be here, I think. If there's work, it makes sense that I'm here. Of course. But if not, I think I'll try to apply to Emirates because I really wanted to be a flight attendant before. So. My God, you'll get it right Hopefully. Tapos yung looks mo eh, parang actually yung looks mo parang magbabagay ka rin doon eh, di ba? Yeah, I mean, uh -oh. I, uh -oh. and that's what my course was kasi sa Italy, yung uh -oh. pinag-aaralan ko. Okay. That's what I really wanted and, you know, if the doors close here in the Philippines, life goes on. Maybe not this time. Now na nasa Viva ka na, what may, uh, okay, speaking of Viva, what made you decide to move to Viva? Since you were under Star Magic before, right? Ng ABS-CBN. Well, if I have to be honest with you, it's like they had a good offer and uh, I took it. It wasn't just money-wise, it was project-wise. I liked their offers, I liked their, uh, what they had in mind for me. So I just went for it, you know. They had good perspective, good, good you know, perspective of the future for me. So sabi ko, bakit hindi? Try natin ang iba. Okay, you signed up with Viva in 2019. Yes. Since yes. then, up to this time. Yeah. So, how is it so far? Wala ka pang, si wala ka pang uh, series, di ba? Wala ka pang TV series. Coming up. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've just finished. May tinapos ka na rin isa. Yeah. Uh, is this with Julia Barreto? Yes. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Watch it, please. Yeah. You're a mixture, of course, of Filipino and yes, Italian. Mm -hmm. So, how much of your, uh, of your Italian blood ang meron ka? I know it's 50-50, pero iba yung kultura sa Pilipinas, no, no. iba yung kultura sa, sa Italy. Yeah. So, paano mo na mimix yun? I'm Italian, but with a modern Filipino culture. I like how Filipinos have that culture when it gets to some stuff. And I like to modernize it because sometimes Filipino culture tends to be old, di ba? Yeah. And uh, to me, that's... Conservative, it, ang Filipino, to, yes. Yeah, yes, and yes. to me, sometimes that doesn't fit kasi... Uh -huh. 
in my Italian culture, uh, iba ang kultura iba. na doon, di ba? So parang I'm I'm trying to mix it a little bit. Dumarami na rin ang mga Phil Italian actors yes. in the Philippines, right? Yeah. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Nancy Castiglione. Uh, not sure. She's not that active anymore, but of course, there's Matteo Gugicelli. Gugicelli, diba? yeah. And of course, si Paolo Contis, di ba? Yeah. Di ba? So, uh, ikaw, wala pa namang sampo, pero marami, dumadami na kayo. Yes. <laughs> dito, uh, so, anong pakiramdam pag alam mong hindi ka lang mag-isa ang uh, feel Italian dito sa Pilipinas? I am always get excited every time I get to have that chance of getting to know half Italian or Italian here in the Philippines because if feels like a little bit like home de ba parang every time i'm super excited and the first thing i do is get to know if that person actually knows italian or did they grow up somewhere else you know or filipino talaga because that's where you know i i get to like that small judgment in my head oh you're not actually italian de ba parang yes ganun. yes have you met mateo yes i did ah, nag-meet na kayo yeah. do you speak italian pag me yeah kayo, hindi kayong dalawa uh, pag nag-uusap kayo hindi well I tried, but he he was a kid when he came here. Yes. So, oh, parang oh, oh. medyo na. Hindi na siya masyadong, uh, I think he's good. It's just he's not used to it as much as I am. Mm-mm. But his dad is Italian, mm-hmm. and they hang yes. out a lot. So I think probably his dad talks to him in Italian. Nakalimutan ko Alessandra De Rossi at saka si uh, Asunta De Rossi. Yeah. Di ba feel Italian din sila? Yeah. So marami na nga, eh. marami na kayo yeah. dito eh. Italians are. Di ba? May isa pala akong gusto itanong na hindi ko na tanong kanina. Bakit ka inintroduce noon sa PBB as uh, the uh, the Pilio Gallo of Italy? Pilio Bello. Yeah. Oh, di ba? Yeah. Uh, oh, di ba? Pilio, of course, in the, uh, it's a Filipino word for naughty, right? Yeah. Oh, Gallo is Gallo. Bello. Ah, Bello, Bello, I'm sorry. The Bello is handsome, right? Yeah. So the handsome, the naughty handsome of Italy. <laughs> yeah. in description sa you, eh, yeah. ba? Why so? Well, when we were going through the interviews, uh, they were asking me what kind of guy I was at that time. And kasi parang nung panahon na yun, parang hindi pa ako nagkaka-girlfriend. But... At 15, di ba? Yeah, why? Oh, you're so young, yeah, di ba? That, oh. That's the age that you're, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. you know, going on a yes. day every kind Uh-oh. of week. Just Uh-oh. understanding. Nasa crossroad ka pa yeah, noon. Kung anong gagawin exactly. mo. Yeah. And so I think that's why they were calling me the the naughty boy of... <laughs> Italy. Italy. Italy uh, I'm not sure why they called me that. Meron pang ano na lazy, lazy karao. Yeah, I was. Oh, I used Toto- to be. Ah, totoo? Totoo I pala yun? I used to really be lazy at that time because, uh, syempre, my mom is, apart from being Filipina, she's a mom. So yes. she she spoils you. Hmm. When she's Filipina, she's extra spoiling you because, yeah. you know. She does everything for you. Exactly. Yes. So at home, I wasn't really helping or anything. I was doing gardening a lot, but... Hmm. You know, washing the dishes wasn't my thing. Cooking wasn't my thing. Cleaning um, up. <laughs> cleaning up. No, it wasn't my no, no. thing. But then I figured out that when I got inside, I'm really happy of how my mom, you know, taught me through the years. Because when I got inside, I hated every single housemate because they were so messy and they couldn't even clean before going to bed. I promise you, I was the only guy in the whole house before going to bed of fixing the couch or fixing the dishes. Mm-hmm. It, I didn't want to wake up and see how messy it was. Sometimes I was too tired and I was just going to go to sleep. But then I, I realized that, that you have to do that with your kids one day because even if you think you're lazy, when you start seeing that, you just get... Yeah. After you got out of PBB, ang alam nga, siyempre yung mga fans, they wanted kisses for you or rivalry. Yeah. Um, pero without us knowing... Uh, Nalinka sa kaisasang anak ni Richard Gomez and of course ni Lucy Torres na si yeah. Juliana. Yeah. So parang actually na, na, nabigla lahat. You yeah. were so quiet. So how did it happen? How did you meet you? Uh, how did you meet her? Well, we met on a bench photo shoot. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Uh-oh. And then uh, I didn't really know what family she was coming from. Hindi mo alam yung I parents know. niya, yeah, background I didn't know anything. niya. And then I got to know who they were when I got to their house. Oh. And I was like, oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> the surprise yeah, ka I got, syempre. Yeah, I got oh. shocked. And, uh, yeah. So that was it. Uh, but you were together for how long? Parang less than a year? 
I think three months, four months. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we so were... What, what happened? Bakit ganun lang kaikse? Because that was the time of uh, the Blandina. Ah. The Familia Blandina, you yeah. know the movie? Right, right, Where right. I was blonde and oh. that was the time I was leaving na. So to me, I didn't want to So hindi do... kayo naghiwalay na maayos? Or that was the reason kung bakit kayo naghiwalay yeah, because I you think, left? Yeah, I think that was my main reason because I was leaving and I didn't feel like doing a long-distance relationship. So, you know, at that time, I wasn't really ready for a long distance. At hindi mo pa ano yung sarili mo at that yeah, time. I yeah, can, I can say that, yeah. Yeah. When you came back, uh, or, or rather, when you came back, did you talk to her? Para wala kayong, wala kayong formal breakup or anything? No, we had a formal breakup before leaving. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely. When I got back, I mean, we saw each other. We talked. We're good. I mean, uh, we're pretty no. I don't think there was the love anymore there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Six months after nung bumalik ka na ng Pilipinas, ano ang focus mo na nun? I'm work, back. work, work. Work, work, work. Yeah. Okay, and then finally, you met your new girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, so I Rachel. did. Rachel. All yeah. right. Saan mo nakilala si Rachel? She's a nine showbiz model. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I met her at uh, Yes, Please and BGC. BGC. It was uh, an Area 51. You know Area 51, the alien? I, yeah, more or less. Eh, hindi na ako the alien. <laughs> I, know, yeah. I know the place, but you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah all right. the place, right? right and it's right. about aliens. Yes, yes. Yun yung theme nung uh, uh -uh. party. Uh -uh. So it was more about aliens mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I met her there. Oh, that's your turf, eh? You know, mga millennials, mga baguets, <laughs> diba? <laughs> okay, so that's how you met. Yes. Uh oh, but was it love at first sight when you saw her? No, it wasn't. I mean, really? No, it wasn't because honest. Yeah, it wasn't. Okay. Because okay. I seen her before with other groups. Mm -hmm. I liked her, how she looked, but then. We weren't really talking kasi nung una eh. Uh -huh. Parang ano lang. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. But then, eventually, then, before the night ended, I got her number. Through her cousin. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, I... I Bakit I, I, hindi siya mismo ang hiningan mo ng no, number No, I niya? asked her the number. I she got, didn't give it to you. No, I asked her the number okay. uh, before leaving. You know, she was telling mm. me, hey, I'm leaving. And I'm like, oh, already? <laughs> Parang ganun. <laughs> So, you know, I said, specifically said, I'll text you. And she's like, how are you going to text me? Because text, it's yeah. number. Yeah, okay, Chat, of course. it's Instagram. So, right. I'm going to text you. But you're not French you. yet. Oh, so huh? I'm going to text you. So, how huh? are you going to text me? You don't have my number. And I was like, I'll get your number. So, <laughs> nakuha ko your number. Uh -oh. So, that was the start. Yeah, and then, uh, actually, the first week when we were talking, I was super mad at her. Oh, why? I mean, super oh. mad-ish. Oh. Because I got dengue at that time. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I was uh -oh. literally about to die. Ang uh -huh. lapit ko na. Walang biro. No, walang biro kasi uh -oh. ang problema nun, di ba seven days lang dapat yes, yes, ang yes. time mo, time uh -oh. frame. Parang dito na balita. No, because, I mean, I didn't die. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's why hindi na balita. Uh -oh. But uh, I was on my fourth day and then there were three days left. Uh -huh. Nagpatest ako nung pangalawang araw and sabi sa akin, wala negative. Yung pala may dalawang tipo ng test. Mm -hmm. And they did it the wrong one each time. Mm -mm. Nagpa-test ako on the fourth day, mm -mm. positibo. Mm -mm. Dapat nung first day pa lang, makapasok ka na kasi you have to get better. Right. And if I just extended three days more... Pwede ka nang dedo. Yeah. Oh. And uh, so I was telling her, I'm in the hospital. Obviously, bago pa lang kami. Uh -oh. But I was expecting for her to come. But no, she didn't come. Oh, she, she was, didn't show up? Yeah, she uh -oh. didn't show up. Right? Hindi, it's a man ang pakiramdam mo, no? Yeah. No. So bad. Oo. <laughs> Anong pakiramdam? I mean, you know, so nag-uusap naman kayo sa telepono at that time. Yeah, yeah, mm. cha, yeah. Pero yung the mere fact na hindi ka man niyang binisita, di ba? Ang kakaano nun. Yeah, I, but uh -oh. I mean, I won't understand her side also. Kasi bago pa lang eh, isang week pa lang uh -oh. eh. Uh -oh. Di ba? So, parang isi... All the more nga eh, kahit bago pa lang, all the more, di ba? Parang masyado kayong ano sa isa't isa to see each other. Right. Dapat more. <laughs> she is Filipino-American. Filipino right? American, Rachel yeah. is Filipino-American, yeah. still Italian. Ang ganda yeah. ng kombinasyon, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> A little bit of everywhere. Ang <laughs> ganda ng kombinasyon, di ba? Marco, nakaranas ka na bang umiyak? At anong isang bagay ang pwedeng magpaiyak sa'yo? 
Walt, your first question, yes, of course. Nakaranas na ako. To me, it's more of the fear of failing. To me, that's what one of the reasons. That's the most painful thing for me, I think. Fear of failing. In your career? No, not really not in my really. career. In life. In life. In life. To me, okay. it's not really the career. It's, mm -hmm. I just don't want to end up 40 years old doing a shift at McDonald's. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, right. No one wants right, that. Right, right, right. And it... The mm. thing is, it's all up to us kasi. Yes, it's all no. about what we do in our 20s and 30s right. to not end up at that yes. stage. stage. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying for me, I don't want that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, you know? Mm -mm. Looking back, when I first uh, met you, I first talked to you, you were 17? You were 17, right? 17? 18. Uh, going 18, diba? Ngayon, uh, three years later, Parang iba eh. nag -iba na ang yung pananaw, nag ka. Yeah, I yeah, think diba? nag pandemic. Ka. Mm. Pandemic really, you know, all that time mm -hmm. at home mm -mm. makes you think a lot about what you've accomplished, mm -hmm. what you're about to accomplish. Ano pang kulang? Mm -hmm. Ano man dapat gawin? Ano may gusto mo pa? I want a lot, but it's not like if I don't get it, it's the end of the world. Right. You know, see, sometimes I really don't see myself such as a, an artist. Because all of the artists that I know, they're all with a big house in Forbes. They're all with the... Di naman lahat. I mean, a oh, lot. Yes, I mean, you, yes, you know yes. what I mean? A right, lot. Right, if it's so. not in Forbes, mm, yeah, somewhere yes. else, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to get there. You know, I want to get to the extent, not money-wise, but recognition-wise when it gets to acting. I want to say that hindi lang ako dumaan dito. That's what I want. But if I don't get it... You want to be remembered as an actor. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh -oh. I mean, definitely. And mm -hmm. uh, that's the main reason why I'm here. I think I I, I want to make the Philippine cine cinema even better. Nakikita mo ba yung sarili mo na someday I want to be an, a director or behind the camera, working behind no, a camera? No, definitely, yes. I Iba. thought about that before. Oh, yeah. Definitely me, not by myself, but with people that I would know. I think I'd, I'd like to one day. Mm -mm. Mga kaibigan, let me thank my personal sponsors. My good friend, Richie Ang of Richie's Kitchen. Beauty Derm. Ever Belena, Doc Rob's Chiropractic Wellness Clinic, Ronald Arnaldo for my clothes, Ness Asilia Salon for my hair and makeup, Gandang Rick Reyes, my good friend in the U.S., Chato Suga Jimenez, Erase Beauty Care, and of course, Crip by Studio Manila. Okay, and of course, your message to your fans, and of course, to all the people who watch. Everyone, I just hope you're doing okay. Uh, you're I mean, a blogger as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Diba? I mean, I, In invite me. Yeah, if everyone. you guys want to watch some of my life moments, you can check it out in uh, my YouTube, on my Instagram. Usually post more there. But uh, for all of you guys that you're having the time to watch now, I just wish you a very great, great day. And just smile. You know, sometimes if you have a hard time, it's not the end of the day. You know, there's always tomorrow. Have a great knife, knife, great, yeah, a great <laughs> night or day, and uh, have a good life. Oh, what about your message to your mom? Oh, I hope you're doing good. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I mean, because uh, we talk almost every day. Okay, I hope you're doing right. good, and uh, she might watch this. Uh oh, <laughs> I mean, uh, I'll see you hopefully soon. I miss you. And uh, yeah, I miss your cooking. How about your, your girlfriend, Rachel? Well, Rachel, thank you for bringing me joy and happiness every wow. day in the house. And uh, I hope you can clean the dishes more. Kawawa naman siya. Your message for your dad. I don't think you'll ever watch this because Malay you're just mo. not a phone guy. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm well off. And uh, you should be proud of who I've become. And yeah. of course, with that, thank you so much, Anak. Thank, thank you. you so much, Marco. This is my second time with you, and I hope marami pa tayong pag-uusapan in the future. And with that, marami marami salamat, mga kaibigan. Muli, huwag niyo pong kakaligtaang mag-subscribe, mag-like, mag-share, and hit the bell button for TikTok with Aster Amoyo. Mga kaibigan, love your parents while you still care. Hanggang sa susunod na, Vianis, ito lamang po sa TikTok. It's after.